Welcome to today's workplace series and today we're talking about decision making and sleep because decision making and sleep they make perfect partners. Your brain makes decisions many many times a day and often when you're making a decision you can do that almost unconsciously you just do something because that's the way you've always done something. But every time you make a really deliberate decision you're using up really precious resources in the brain. And so you want to make the most of those precious resources. And that means you want to consciously decide when you're deciding. Because if you don't, you're in danger of making a decision when your brain isn't at its peak. So you'll have often heard about you know, that kind of comparison of your brain being a bit like a muscle. So in that vein of thinking, Think about it like this. So when you're at the gym and you're working out, you get tired. And so you would know that you need to have training days and you need to have break days. It's the same with your brain. You want to get that right balance between working your brain and also resting it. So your prefrontal cortex, which runs across this part of your brain, it's the part of the brain that's deeply involved in thinking, analyzing, reasoning. And it gets tired. It gets tired easily. So your brain very cleverly has found a way of conserving energy. It takes shortcuts and that mental shortcut is what we call a heuristic. So your brain uses heuristic to make kind of big things, complex things easier to manage and ultimately remember. So what your brain does is as it's taking on board new pieces of information and trying to make sense of the world and make sense of your place in it and what it is that you need to do, it is doing this in a way where it's trying to ease that cognitive load. So what it does is as it's processing, it's compressing information, it's sorting it into patterns, a bit like themes. It's looking for things that are familiar so it can then go, ah, I now know what to do. Of course, this shortcutting process isn't always reliable and it can give rise to bias in decision making because your brain is using what it's experienced in the past to work out what to do now and your brain can filter out information that it doesn't think is relevant. It can expect to see something in a certain way so it just seeks other points of information or details to confirm what it is that it's expecting. That bias, of course, that filtering, confirmation bias, and it's all done so quickly and so easily pervades our decision making. And this happens for all of us. Of course, it's even worse when you're tired, because when you're tired, your brain is going to take the path of least resistance. It's going to make a decision in the easiest way possible because of course your brain wants to keep you safe and it wants to make decisions quickly. And so when it takes that path of least resistance, it's going to let expectations, assumptions determine how you feel, how you think, how you act. That then means that if you want to make better decisions, really deliberate decisions, you need to be conscious about when you're making decisions that require deep thought and reflection. So that concept of sleeping on it, it's not a silly concept because your brain processes things overnight and you're far more likely to make a better decision early in the morning when that prefrontal cortex is rested. So you can think of it like this, your prefrontal cortex is like a battery. And when you go to sleep and hopefully wake up the next morning rested, that battery is full. And then every time during the day that you make another deliberate decision, a little bit of that battery gets used. So much so that by the end of the day, the battery's a bit more drained, maybe even almost running on empty. So when you're thinking about making a decision, a decision that requires expertise, thought, deliberate thinking, think about that time of day. When is your brain going to be the most rested, the most fresh? And another tip, you know, when you wake up first thing in the morning, don't waste that precious brain energy on things like Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. You want to use that brain energy wisely. So that deep thinking that you need to do, do it first time, 
first thing in the morning when you're fresh. Lots to think about. How are you going to use your brain today? Take care. Have a great week.